Do you know that God is working in you? Hello, everyone, and, and welcome to Thursday Thoughts. Today, uh, we're going to be looking at a scripture from uh, Psalms, which I think reminds us of something that we, I think, forget about. At least we don't think about it very often, and that is the fact that God is working in us. Too often, I think we think that we have to do the changing, that we have to do, be the one who makes changes in our life and becomes more like God. But I think if we look at the scripture, we'll find out that God is the one who's working in us. In Psalm 138, 8, it says this, The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Now, I just want to kind of look at that just a little bit here for a few moments, and especially at those kind of three sentences, and see how they kind of... Uh, work together. See, the first thing he says, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Have you ever thought about what God's purpose is for you? I know sometimes we kind of get this idea that there's a special plan that God has for us, and if we stray from that plan, man, we're all messed up. And I, I don't think that's necessarily true. We see in the Old Testament and the New Testament, there were certain people that God had specific tasks and responsibilities for them. But there were a lot of other people who aren't mentioned in the scriptures that were just living their lives, yet they were to live them faithfully for God. And so when it says, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me, I think what he's saying is this, and um, this from 2 Corinthians 5.17 we read, If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. You see, God's purpose is to be in us, is to transform us, to change us through the power of His Holy Spirit. In Ephesians 2.10 it says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. You see, God, we, it tells us that we are God's handiwork. That means that He is working in us to do good works. We've been created to do good works. That's our purpose is to do good works, to find those things that we can do. And the thing is, is, God is going to continue to work in us, to change us, to transform us, to make us more loving, to make us more joyful, to make us more peaceful, more kind, more uh, have more goodness, be more self-controlled. All of these things, He's working in us to accomplish those things. How do we know that? Because God's love is steadfast. Another version puts it, His faithfulness. And both of those go on forever. They endure forever. God is always wanting to work in our life, to change us and to recreate us into that new creation. To get help us to get rid of the old, the sinfulness, and live holy and righteous lives. And then the last phrase here says, do not forsake the work of your hands. Now that asks like, that's like a, a prayer, isn't it? Or a cry out to God saying, don't forget about me, Lord. And I don't think it's so much a cry out to God. Well, it is a cry out to God. But it's not for God's benefit. It's more for our own benefit, as most prayers are. You see, God is going to work in our lives. But we need to be aware of that, and we need to be moldable. We need to be changeable. We need to be allowing him to transform us by the renewing of our mind. And that happens by our willingly surrendering ourselves to him. You know, if we uh, just keep doing what we want to do, if we want to continue to be the one in control and in charge, God's going to let us be that. And we aren't going to change. But I think we need to say this little prayer, do not forsake the work of your hands. Don't forsake me, Lord, because that's more for us to remember that he will work in us if we'll just surrender ourselves to him. And so God wants to change you. If you're not seeing change in your life, maybe it's because you are putting on the brakes. 
maybe because you are holding back, not surrendering yourself to him. Because God wants to do that. He loves you so much that he wants to change you into all that you were meant to be. So you can do those good works that were created and says in advance for us to do. And so I hope that you will realize God is working in you. That you will know that with all of your heart. That you will know it and allow him to change you. To willingly surrender yourself to him so that you might be all that you were ever meant to be in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just ask you to continue to be in us. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Do not forget about us, Father, and, and we know that you're not going to. The problem is sometimes we forget about you, and, and we don't allow you to continue to work in us. We, we don't want to surrender ourselves to you. May we remember every day that we need to be doing that. And because of that, Father, because of your love, you won't forsake us. You'll continue to change us. And so we're praying for that, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. And I hope that you understand that God does love you. And he wants to make you the best version of yourself that you can be. The one that he's always envisioned. The one that he meant for you to be. But you got to trust that he will do it, and you've got to be willing to let him do it. Until next Thursday, may God be with you, and may you be with him.